It's like um, Jesus said, my sheep hear my voice. I know them, they follow me. That's what we're supposed to be doing, picking up the prayer phone, talking to boss Jesus, asking him what he wants to do now and get busy doing it with his power to do it. When we get into a problem situation, how do I deal with this problem? He knows how to deal with every problem. There's nothing too difficult for him to do. And he can tell you what to do about your problems, and you can do what he tells you. I've had problems for 60 years. He still helped me to deal with them all. Even if he, you had to go to a fiery furnace, he could help you to deal with that one. Like Shadrach or a lion's den or something. Or the children of Israel in the desert for 40 years being fed and clothed by God or something. Like it says, the Lord is my good shepherd. I shall not want. He takes good care of me. It's like thinking, uh, I'm not alone, Jesus is with me, superpower, Jesus is dwelling in me, I'm like a superhero, like Superman with Christ in me. <laughs> Jesus is not some weak little being, he's the power of the universe, controlling everything at all times. And he could be dwelling in us and helping us. So when you look at Jesus, you say, why should I be afraid? <laughs> it's like... Um, we have to become one with Jesus. It's like, uh, Jesus, king of the universe, my best friend is here, what do I got to fear? It's like, I got, my bodyguards are here. I got the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, and the angels with me. Why would I care about some evil creation that God can turn to dust any time or something? Satan shouts and yells that he's so powerful and stuff like that, but he's just a liar. It's like Jesus talking to the Roman government or something. You could have no power against me unless God allowed you to have it. I, I could just call down angels and they'd just turn you to dust. <laughs> it's like dealing with Pharaoh or something. You don't want to obey God. Well, he's, he's sending an angel to kill your son or something. Like that. The wicked leaders of this world aren't in control. God's in control. <laughs> If a World War III starting up, God wants to allow it to start up and he can help you through it. It's like we got to live in an evil and suffering world, but we need to believe God can help us through it, bring good out of it for us, make us happy in it, and help us not to be bothered by it. It's like, it's like watching the TV and seeing all kinds of evil on it, which that's all the boat there is. There's not much good on TV. You gotta look at good Jesus when you're watching TV you know, for the balance. Not just what evil people and Satan are doing on TV or on the internet or something news. What's Jesus doing? Well, it's like you gotta be watching TV on the couch. Like a vision I get. With Jesus with his arm around you, holding your hand with his nail scarred hand, saying, Don't let a body a rod, I control it. I'm watching the World War Three on TV. <laughs> Don't let him bother you, Rod. I control it. He, he's trying to comfort me. He's trying to fill me with peace and joy. He's trying to say, I'm all powerful. I control this. Don't let him bother you. Like Jesus in the storm, in the boat with the storm with the disciples. Have faith in me. Not Don't look at the storm. Don't look at the, just look at the evil. Look at good me. Don't just look at the storm. Look at my power to stop the storm. Jesus just has to say, stop storm. It stops. Everything obeys Jesus. At the name of Jesus, all every knee bows or whatever. Like Jesus said, my sheep hear my voice. That's what we're supposed to be listening to, not Satan with his lies. There is no God. God doesn't love you unconditionally. You're never good enough. Read the Bible and find out God loves you unconditionally. He makes you as righteous as he is as a gift. He's your helper through all this. And there's nothing too difficult for him to do. He wants it to be difficult. He wants it to be free will choice. He wants to allow evil to choose evil if he wants to. Like Jesus said, if you enter the kingdom of heaven, it's like most people want to choose to be evil and go to hell or something. But that's their choice. It doesn't have to bother me. As long as I'm going to heaven with Jesus, I'm happy. I'm only responsible for my own choices. So, we're supposed to be following Jesus. Our boss, Jesus. Get on the prayer phone. What do you want to do now, Jesus. And he's got the power to do it through you. Let Jesus do it through you, not you.
Let him help you to think the way you're supposed to think. Don't be trying to think the way Satan wants you to think or something. You can be in a fiery furnace that doesn't have to bother you. We're not supposed to fear anything with Jesus. Super powerful God Jesus dwelling in us, making us like a super Christian or something. That's where peace and joy can come from. Not trusting in yourself and fearing all the time that you can't handle anything. You're, you're not meant to handle anything. You're supposed to let Jesus handle it through you. Let Jesus do it through you. Jesus has greater wisdom than Solomon. Jesus has greater strength than Samson. He could give it to you anytime he wants to. But then there's the aspect of why do we suffer so much if isn't Jesus like a genie or something? And you just ask him, heal me all, he heals you or something. It's not like that. Jesus wants us to go through a spiritual war. Jesus wants us to go through suffering like Job or whatever. It seems like the more you try to obey God, the more Satan tries to stop you, but you can handle that Satan attack on you with infirmity or whatever, with his help too. Some of the most uh, knowledgeable prophets or teachers I know are very sick and ill, like me. But that's good for me. And then start doing his will, whatever he tells us to do now to get ready for the revival, get ready for the judgment on the wicked like the days in Noah part two. And not let any of it bother us. I don't care if World War III is going on. Jesus controls it. What do you want me to do, Jesus, in World War III? Get busy doing it and think in a right balanced way. There's suffering and problems, but Jesus controls them. And they can work out for my good.